And we do have caribou here. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we're gonna be checking out everything that has changed here in Yukon Valley since the update and everything has changed guys. Everything here has new zone times, new drink times, new hot spots, and let me tell you, things are definitely in different places than they used to be before. Now, if you do enjoy today's video guys, go ahead and smash that like button. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for that. And definitely let me know in the comments if you are happy with these changes with this last update. I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know. So the first species we're going to have a look at today is caribou. And caribou definitely does have a new drink time. So they now drink in Yukon from 4 or 4.30 until 8 or 8.30. So basically something will drink all the way around the clock. But just about not exactly in Yukon. There is one hour in the afternoon where nothing is drinking. It's very interesting. And I am going to share with you every single drink time for all of the species here in Yukon today. So we still have caribou down here. Unfortunately, the beavers have been pretty terrible. I did have a tent right over here and disappeared last night. So that is unfortunate. We still have caribou at these four lakes over here. I'm pretty sure they're still on the river. I have not run the entire river. And there is definitely caribou out in the flatlands out here. So that'll get you started with caribou for sure. Okay guys, so now I am up at the most northern lakes right up here. And I do have two drink zones for caribou. So they are at the north as well. There they are. Nothing very big, that is for sure. But we definitely do have two drink zones. And make it three. That is actually the third one. So lots of caribou up here as well. So they've definitely moved caribou all over the map. Okay guys, we actually have a five medium Plains Bison here. Now Plains Bison actually drink here in Yukon now from 8 or 8.30 until 12 or 12.30. And this lake right here is a great spot for them. I have found three zones for Plains Bison here, including a max level, level five. There he is. All right. We got him. Beautiful. And we have quite a few of them right over here in this corner. Now all he has to do is actually make diamond and that can be a whole other thing altogether. Hopefully he will make it. So that's one really nice thing about the reset guys, about all the population resets from the last update, is that you will definitely have brand new diamonds on your map and rares every time there is a population reset. So that is why we have been finding some max level animals. Yesterday we found a level five moose. He was a big old troll, but he was absolutely beautiful. And now we have a level five plains bison. So hopefully he will not troll us. He looks pretty nice. All right, my friend, you can do it. <laughs> I just can't win. I just can't win. Oh my goodness. And another troll. This guy is, geez, 1.35, if my math is correct, off a of diamond. That is not nice. Nice shot, though. Again, no diamond for Lady. And this is where we found him. So that is a really great lake for Plains Bison. There's one zone there, two right there, and other places I have been finding Plains Bison. I do have them at the little lakes here. Most of these little lakes should have Plains Bison. And they are still at these two lakes right here. And all these zones are Plains Bison down at what I call Chicken Leg Lake right here. So those are some definite spots you will still find Plains Bison after the update. Oh, oh no, he's alarmed. What do we have, wolves out here? <laughs> That's a pretty nice moose. There's a max estimate moose. He is on his way out, but moose actually drink here in Yukon now after the update from 12 until 16 or 1630. And that is their universal time, I believe. That is what time they drink on every map that you will find moose. Now, Yukon is a really great map for moose. I think Revon Tuli is probably the best one now, but Yukon is still a great moose map. So you'll still find moose at these little lakes here. All three of these zones are all moose zones. They are definitely still in the flatlands. Let's actually have a look out here. Look at this, guys. We have grizzlies in the flatlands now. That is definitely for sure. I have been shooting them out there. Grizzlies, they have moved all over the map, but we will get to grizzlies in just a second. Okay, so we're out here in the flatlands and I just spotted a big old moose out here. There it is right there. Look at that beauty. So there are definitely moose out here in the flatlands. Let's take down 
This beauty right here. Oh, he's pretty. And now he's pretty dead. I love Moose. I really hope the next great one is Moose. Do you guys? Let me know in the comments. I'm very happy that we have a Black Bear Great One. I wasn't expecting it, but it is turning out to be pretty cool. But I am hoping for a Moose Great One next. So this is how far I've made it, and we have found three drink zones for Moose already. And our Moose didn't make it too far, and oh, he is pretty. He is very nice. I love Moose. Oh, beautiful. 242 is a really nice Moose, and he is gorgeous. Look at him. So they have changed the Diamond Trophy rating for Moose with the update just a smidgen. It used to be 275, and now it is 274.99. So that is where we are right there. So definitely lots of moose out in the flatlands and all kinds of moose up here, guys. All of these zones. I have two drink zones. I have not even ran the entire lake on both lakes in the top right-hand corner for moose. Both of those lakes have two drink zones for moose. So when I first jumped onto my Yukon map after the update, guys, all of my zones were gone. I didn't have a single zone. That's not true. I had one zone that was left after the update and this can happen guys this one right here oh it's gone now it said caribou and it said 5 30 to 9 30 and since i have discovered another zone there it has vanished but you can be left with old zones and we do have moose at this lake as well we definitely have moose along the river as well and there is another massive moose oh my goodness this guy goes up to 274 this is where we are here guys by the railroad tracks and this is absolutely one of my favorite spots i have shot more than one diamond grizzly in this area my 922 piebald moose pretty sure just about every species likes to be here when it is their drink time but that is a big boy moose Look at this, guys. Look at all the red fox in this one zone. I have never seen so many in one zone. Usually we find one or two. Sometimes there is a male and a female, but there is actually, what, probably about six red foxes here in this one zone, and that is a pretty sweet zone. Now, red fox actually drink here in Yukon since the update from 17 or 1730 until 20 or 2030. So that actually means there is an hour between drink time where nothing is drinking in Yukon, and that is between 1600 and 1700. Moose stopped drinking at 1600, and Red Fox start to drink at 17. That is very interesting, and I don't think I've ever seen this many Red Fox in one drink zone before. So where we are here is this lake right here. Those are both Red Fox drink zones, both those right there. I do have them drinking at this lake down here, and they are at most of the lakes right over here. So that'll definitely get you started on Red Fox. Married couple, a seven and a four, but females can get very big with Red Fox. I have seen as big as an eight mythical, but I have never seen a nine Red Fox. If anyone has ever seen a nine legendary female Red Fox, please let me know in the comments. I would love to see an image of that. I know it is definitely possible with Gray Fox, I have shot a diamond female myself, but never with red fox. And that is where we are right there. I am now at the top two most northern lakes and both of these drink zones, I haven't even moved from my tent, both have red fox in them. So they are definitely in the northern lakes as well. So they are pretty decently spread out on the map. And that's normal to see a male and a female. I don't see too many zones with five in it, but that was delightful to see, wasn't it? Okay, the next species we're gonna have a look at is grizzly bears, and grizzly bears actually drink now in Yukon Valley from 20 or 2030 until 0 or 030, and let me tell you, their zones have changed a lot. So right now we are up here on this lake with the railroad tracks on the top left side of the map, and I have several drink zones up here for grizzly bears, and they definitely never used to be here before. That's a grizzly bear drink zone that I just stepped on there. We also have red fox and moose here, lots of moose zones on this lake, and that bear is just coming into its drink zone right there, so definitely didn't used to be here before. And there's the drink zone. So other places that are very interesting that I have been finding grizzly bear drink zones, they are now out in the Brightwater Flats. We're actually gonna head out there and have a little peeky peek, and they are also at the Little Lakes over here. But one really interesting spot is this lake right here. That is a grizzly bear drink zone right there. And that's as far as I ran on this lake. But this lake, which is Wolfhead Lake, has grizzly bears drinking now, guys. So that is very different. 
Now another spot where I found piles of them was this area right here. All of these drink zones are for grizzly bears, so we still have them on the river, so that is very good news. Okay, we finally found some gray wolves. So gray wolves, their drink time has not changed. They still drink from zero until three or 3.30, which leaves another hour of nothing drinking between three and 4 a.m. because caribou start to drink at 4 a.m. So that is very interesting. And look at all the wolves. Oh my goodness, there's three mythicals in this pack. What? That is pretty crazy. So wolves never used to be here. There are now wolves at these four lakes. And quite honestly, guys, I'm having a hard time finding them. I went up here, didn't find any wolves up here, didn't find any in this area here. I checked this lake, no wolves, and this lake here. I'm seriously wondering where the wolves are, but we are gonna keep looking. But that is one very crazy pack of wolves. So guys, I'm down here looking for wolves. I still haven't found them, but I did find something pretty cool. That is a level three piebald moose in there. So he needs to get up so I can shoot him. Oh, he is really pretty. Where are you going, dude? Slow down. Easy. Oh, what a good man. And we got him. Beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? I think. I mean, he's a nice three. He is much nicer than my last one. He is very, very nice, very pretty. Look at him. He is even a gold. That is amazing. Let's taxi that. That is a sweet little find. I will take that. Beautiful. And doesn't it look amazing on the dark scorecard? It just absolutely lights up. That is gorgeous. And this is where we found him, right over here. Okay, we did find some more wolves, so they are still here on this lake, and that is a relief. So that is Wolfhead Lake. We have a pretty nice big pack of gray wolves, and there is another pack there. Beautiful. So lots of wolves on this lake, and that is Wolfhead Lake. The entire map. So basically, this is how it works here in Yukon, guys. We have caribou from 4 till 8, bison from 8 till 12, moose from 12 till 16, then we have an hour where nothing drinks, then fox drink from 17 till 20, grizzlies from 20 till 0, and wolves from 0 until 3, and then we have another hour before caribou start to drink again at 4. And I actually have not seen a harlequin duck yet, which is kind of insane. I don't know where they are. Not sure what's going on with them, but we did find everything else. So that is what's going on here in Yukon since the update. Let me know what you think of the new schedule in the comments down below guys and that is gonna wrap it up for this one I hope you did enjoy the video guys and don't forget to leave a like you guys are awesome And we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys To check out all of the new zone times in Leighton Lakes and in T-Hour Roa both of those videos are right here guys click away